All dancers on stage, please. 47 dancers remain, and they've been broken up into groups. Each group picks a CD at random. Good luck. And each CD contains a different style of music. Okay. Oh. It's Tig Five! The challenge for the groups is to choreograph a routine to the song on their CD. <laughs> and tomorrow morning, they'll have to perform it for the judges. It's already 7pm and it's been a long day. As rehearsals start, the groups are upbeat. <laughs> Coming up... As fatigue sets in, the mood changes. No. Okay. Just yeah. chill. I do hear it. I don't need to hear it again. Zip it. What? Who will survive the group round performances? Where is your heart? I want to cut all of you for making me watch that. It's a shame. Welcome back to Vegas Week. It's 6 a.m. and in the lobby, all of the groups are squeezing in one final rehearsal. Five, six, in just an hour, they'll have to perform their routine on stage. And even though they're in groups, the dancers will be judged individually. Included in the first group are contemporary dancer Anthony Burrell, ballroom dancer Giselle Peacock, and a cautiously optimistic Lauren Froderman. I really like her routine, so hopefully other people will like it. Mainly the judges, but... <laughs> and... Cue music. That was inspiring. There was lots of passion that uh, felt organic to me. I love this group. Mm. Uh, I've got to tell you, and I'm not going to go through each one of you, uh, but every one of you is on my favorite list. I don't think there's anybody worth oh, talking God, about, is are there? Are you kidding there? Thank you. <laughs> so the first group makes it through, and the standard has been set high. With hours until the next round, they head to the pool to celebrate. Afternoon, and the round is nearly over. In the final group is Anthony Burrell. He's been struggling with an injury since his arrival in Vegas, and he's now worried that one dancer in his group is going to steal the limelight. I'm in a group with Alex Wong, who is a favorite for the judges, so you know, I have a feeling that they're not going to be looking here, and they're going to be looking there. Look at this group. Yeah, I know. Who am I going to watch? With two highly trained favourites on stage, would Kent Boyd even be noticed? Here we go, and cue music. Here we are. Here we are. Taking a guess when the only answer is yes. Timeless word. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. So had the judges noticed Anthony? I honestly don't know what pain you're going through. I don't know what you're putting up with, but the difference of watching you dance with the other two guys. It was the difference between watching a man dance and boys dance. It was exquisite. Uh, so I am delighted to say an absolute yes. Uh, I can't wait to see you dance when you're not injured. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have the it. 
that we all talk about and people try to see, you just got it. That was beautiful. It's a yes. I just am in awe of what you can do. So for me, I'm just praying that you go all the way. It's a yes for me. Oh, <laughs> I said yes. <laughs> oh. That's a yes for me. Mm -hmm. I'm a yes. It's unanimous, Anthony. Keep up the good work. Go and rest up. Just in pain. <laughs> Meanwhile, clear across the country, Mia Michaels is headed to Harlem to see professional dancer Anthony Burrell. I'm excited to see him again. I saw him in New York, then I saw the tapes from Vegas, and he. He was amazing. Anthony's run in Vegas got off to a rough start with a major hamstring injury. I'm just hoping that I can pull it through, you know, and get through what I have to do. And after fighting through the pain each round, Anthony blew the judges away with his contemporary. You are just one of the most amazing dancers I've ever seen. Despite his stellar reviews, He's still full of nerves after finding out a judge is on their way. My, my, my heart just dropped when you just said that somebody's coming in like the next couple of minutes. But yeah, I'm, I'm nervous, you know? I haven't slept in maybe 36 hours because of the, the anticipation and, you know, anxiety of just waiting. After agonizing for days, the wait is finally over. I've trained all my life to showcase my talent, you know, and I just want to share it, share what I have with America, share who I am. How are you? I'm good, I'm okay. good, how are you? Nervous, um, my toe, my big toe won't stop shaking. Um, <laughs> like I'm, you know, I can't wait. no, it's this one, it's this one. <laughs> like it's really shaking, it's like boom. But I'm just, you know, just nervous because I really want this, you know, I really want this and I need something like this in my life to take me to the next level in my career. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and deny that you are a brilliant, brilliant talent, but I am here to tell you that, um, that you're not gonna be with us this season. Right now, you're probably like, get out of my house and I hate you right now, but I want you to come back because you bring something that I haven't seen in a very long time. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. I know. It hurts, it hurts, it's, you know, it's like a dagger to my heart, you know what? I'm sorry. <sighs> the stuff that we go through in life, the negative and the, the, the knocks, we can choose to take us down or we can choose to stand up, rise up, and make us even more brilliant and more beautiful. Much love. God bless.